All right, now Samsung has recently launched the Galaxy Watch 6 and Watch 6 Classic in two different sizes, and they also come with Bluetooth and LTE variants. Now deciding between LTE and Bluetooth models in Samsung or any other branded watches is not an easy decision as they come with their own pros and cons. So I thought why not make a quick video about this and help you decide which watch should you pick. Should you go for the Bluetooth variant or the LTE variant? I've also recently posted a video on whether you should upgrade your watch to the latest watch 6 series from your existing Galaxy watch or any other watch. If you missed that video, you can click the thumbnail at the end of the video. That video will help you decide whether you should upgrade your watch or not. Now first, let's understand what is a Bluetooth variant and what is an LTE variant. In simple terms, the Bluetooth variant always requires your phone to be connected through the Bluetooth to receive notifications, make calls, and to sync the health-centric data with the Galaxy Health application on the phone. The phone needs to be within 10 meters distance beyond which it will get disconnected and stops receiving the notification and it becomes a standalone watch. Now when it comes to LTE variant, we can add an eSIM on the watch with the same contact number which you are using on your phone and by having an eSIM on the watch it independently receives the network signals receives notifications we can make calls and receive calls and all this without having to connect the watch to the phone which means your watch does not require your phone to be connected through bluetooth for any cellular connectivity However, to sync the health-centric data, you need to connect the phone with the watch. Now, should you pick the Bluetooth variant or LTE variant? This depends on your needs and requirements. However, let me tell you the pros and cons here. If you are someone who leave your phone at home and go out on cycling, trekking, walking, etc. without carrying your phone, then LTE variant will be very, very useful. You can make calls, receive texts, reply to it, all without your phone as the watch itself acts as a phone. And obviously this is for a short period. We can't really use this as a mainstream cellular device. We will obviously have to get back to the phone soon after because many of us may not be comfortable using the tiny screen to send long texts by typing on the tiny keyboard. So for a temporary usage, it is good to have LTE when you are outdoors without your phone. But now the disadvantage here is the reduced battery performance. Yes, the LTE watches tend to consume more battery, especially when you are on the move, as there will be network fluctuations, like the phone the watch needs more juice to fetch the network constantly. So yes, the battery life will be a few hours lesser on the LTE watches. However, we can turn off the LTE feature whenever we have phone with us and turn it back on otherwise. So that may help, but end of the day, the LTE variant consumes more battery. Now coming to the Bluetooth variant. Obviously here the battery performance will be better and if you are someone who don't move anywhere without leaving your phone then you just need a Bluetooth variant. You can receive notifications, make calls without touching your phone. If you have connected your wireless earbuds to your watch you don't need to use the onboard speaker and mic on the watch for calls. This is in both Bluetooth and LTE variants. Now having only the Bluetooth variant may be a disadvantage for people who are on the move without the cell phones during some parts of the day. Carrying your phone for outdoor activities is not that comfortable. So if you are into something like that, then LTE suits you very well. These are some points you need to keep in mind while you buy a Samsung Galaxy watch or any other watch which offers both LTE and Bluetooth variants. Now, if you ask me, I have always been a Bluetooth variant user since I started using a Galaxy smartwatch as I carry my mobile phone everywhere and I don't really prefer making calls or replying to texts on the watch. I use it just to check the text notifications or call notifications without having to unlock the phone, I can do that. So that's handy for me. However, this time I wanted to experience the LTE variant, so I have pre-ordered it. I will post some videos on that variant along with battery test results with LTE on and LTE off. Stay tuned for those contents. Now, you guys let me know which variant you currently own, which one do you prefer to use, is your LTE variant good in terms of battery life? Share your thoughts in the comment section, that would help the community. And while you do that, if you want to become a part of Apex community to know your phone and your Galaxy watch and the tech better, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button and also give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching, my name is Salyan signing off, cheers, bye bye.